how can people become a morning person or learn to get up early more easily and more regularly? Yeah. Um, three days of pain, the rest is easy. So it takes about three days to shift the biological mechanisms to uh, make you a morning person. Now, if you are a very strongly genetically sh determined night owl. That's a thing. That's a thing. So there are genetic mutations, they call them polymorphisms, that make some people night owls. They feel best psychologically and physically going to sleep at about 1, 2, or 3 a.m. and waking up somewhere around you know, 10, 11 a.m. or noon. Mm -hmm. That exists, not just during development or teen years, but that exists, not just for social reasons. Other people are true morning people. They feel absolutely best going to sleep around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. 10 p.m. will be late for them and they feel great waking up at four, five, or 6 a.m., okay? Most people feel best going to sleep somewhere between 10 and midnight and waking up somewhere between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. or so, maybe 5.30 to 8 a.m., okay. So those are three bins of the night owl, the morning person, and then the more typical schedule, but it's heavily weighted toward that typical schedule if you look at the general population. So if somebody wants to get up earlier, you need to stack the four primary, what are called zeitgebers or timekeepers. So named because some of the early chronobiologists that discovered this stuff and the underlying mechanisms were German as it were. So the number one Zeitgeber, the number one way to shift your circadian clock, which is this cluster of neurons that sits a few centimeters above the roof of your mouth, is to view bright light at a time when you want to be awake, aka the morning. Okay. So that's why I say, get outside, look at the sun, toward the sun. Don't force yourself to stare at it. Don't damage your eyes. Blink as needed. No sunglasses. I glasses, corrective lenses, and contacts are absolutely fine, even if they have UV protection. Okay. 